Hello, this is Andrew, and today I will be showing you how to give enemy lives in Game Maker. So first, you want to have two sprites, your enemy sprite, which I call mine Spike Boss, he's just a little wizard, and then you want to have a sprite for your lives, which mine are just a little heart that I made. I also have other sprites and objects that I pre-made to show you how if a weapon were to hit the boss, then his lives will go down one, and then if his lives are at zero, he should be disappeared or destroyed. So you go to objects, and then you create an object for your boss, which I already have, and an object for your lives, which I already have. And then you go to your object boss, you go add event create, which I already have, you go down to score, and set lives, and I'm going to give him five. Now, okay. And then you go to your object lives, you go to draw, and then you go down to score and draw life images. And then at zero zero, the coordinates are at zero zero. So in the room, that means it would be in the top left corner. And then you go to image and the sprite lives. Okay. Okay. And then I'll go to the room, which I already have a ground for, it's green colored. And I will put the boss down. Okay. And these red blocks he bounces off of, so he'll just be moving left and right in that little area, and you won't see it in the game because they're not visible. And then I have my player, which I'll put there. And then I put the lives in the top left corner. And then let's play. So now we're in the game, and the boss is moving left and right very fast and then that's my guy moving around on the left and then in the top left corner you'll see he has five lives that I've shown and then I'll throw a weapon and it just goes past him so I'll show you how when the weapon hits the boss his lives will go down so so back in game maker we go to object boss add event collision and then with the weapon which is a hat that I made and then you go to score and then when he collides when the weapon collides with the boss you make it negative one in relative so if his lives were at five then they go down to four and then three two one and then zero and then after you do that you want to do test lives and then if it's equal to zero it will destroy the boss it will destroy the boss so if his lives are equal to zero the boss will be destroyed and you make that other oh no sorry you make that self you want to do destroy other for the hat so you put the destroy other under the set lives and then I usually put blocks if lives are equal to zero destroy instance okay so this destroy instance will destroy the hat and then this one, if his lives are equal to zero, it will destroy the boss. And we do OK. And then we go up to play. And now inside the game, it's the same mechanics. You move around, and then I'll throw a hat, and it destroys one life. Throw another hat, destroys another one, throw three more. And now he's gone. So that is how you make your enemy have lives and uh, thank you for watching bye